Hello there, my name is Anita and this is my sewing channel, Sewing Yogi, and this is where I talk about all things sewing and maybe some knitting. So today I'm going to bring you a vlog regarding this item here that I have on and it was a Minerva project that um, I was given some fabric in return for a blog post on their site and the fabric that they gave me was some double gauze which I think may I may have spoke about before previously um, and I kind of knew straight away what I was going to do with this fabric because I had seen um, many people make pajamas from the double gauze that they had and in specifically I saw Rowan's versions of her pajamas and she, you know how amazing she thought they were so I knew when I got this fabric this is what I was going to make so I have made some pajamas from itch to stitch and I think they're called the pine cove pajamas yeah they are pine cove pajamas and yeah I really liked this pattern I chose this pattern specifically for this fabric um, I wanted something that was perhaps just easy to wear. I didn't want anything that had buttons on it and I didn't really want anything that had um, anything complicated on it. So I kind of went with this one. I was originally going to do another pattern, but then I, when I found this, I just thought this was such a lovely pattern. I really, really liked the look of it. I love the crossover and yeah, it just looked really snuggly and comfortable. So... I have made a few mistakes on this. Um, I don't know why. I, I, I seem to fee be always coming on here saying that I've made mistakes in regards to my sewing or my knitting. Um, but then, you know, I'm not, I don't mind telling people that I've made mistakes because we all make mistakes, don't we? And this is how we learn. So I made a little mistake and I'll show you when I stand up and let you see this. But I absolutely adore these pyjamas. I think if you've maybe seen my um, Instagram post, I absolutely love them. I love pyjamas in double gauze and I don't think I'm ever going to go back to regular pyjamas <laughs> because they're just so comfortable. It's literally like wearing... I, I can't even describe it. I can't think of any adjectives to describe how comfortable wearing these pyjamas are. So anyway... I'll stand up, let you see the uh, pyjamas and then tell you about what um, adjustments I've made. So here are the pyjamas and you'll probably tell that um, the crossover is way too high here for me because I um, shortened the pattern thinking that it was going to affect just where the bottom sat. I didn't even contemplate that, that it would actually affect this bit here and where it would tie. So it literally ties right underneath the bust area. Um, it is actually meant to be just above the waist. So I have added a few inches back onto that. I think I've just basically added another inch and a half back on. Um, and yeah, I love them. They're so comfortable. They're not particularly keeping the shape of the pattern very well because it, it double gauze and it's quite drapey. So it kind of like looks a little bit um, out of shape quite quickly but I don't mind because they are so comfortable you have a little pocket at the front you have little side splits there and like I say this can be tied into a bow or I've just knotted it because it just looks ridiculous in a bow and then like I say it crosses over and again you have another tie on the inside um, and yeah it's very comfortable, really lovely to sleep in. I've slept in them already lots of times. And then you have your um, trousers or pants with just an elasticated waist. Um, and again, the most comfortable pajama bottoms I've ever had. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the, the full thing. I love the colour of these as well. I just feel so uh, cosy in them and the colours is beautiful. Um, so. Yeah, I love them. And I mean, I have worn them uh, with it just open like that because I've been wearing a vest underneath. Um, and yeah, when I had COVID, they were amazing. When I was having really serious hot flushes, this particular fabric just seemed to 
allow me to breathe but then when I was having my cold shivers it seemed to keep me warm it's like magic fabric I just I don't, can't explain how amazing it is it's just so beautiful um, but there you go there's my pajamas okay so um, I should say I've got my, my hair is a little bit wet so it may look a bit odd at the moment because um, I've just washed it we are going out this evening even though I have my pajamas on <laughs> I'm gonna change and get into my going out wear after this so I bought the pattern from Foldline um, where you can go on and just search for patterns and that's what I did. I went on there just to search for pyjama patterns and then this one came up and I absolutely fell in love with it. Just bought it straight away. I think you can buy it from the Itch to Stitch website but I just bought it from uh, Foldline. So yeah, the, um, the size I made for this is, um, let me check, what have I done? I've done a size 4 and that was for I think a bust... I think it may have been for a bust of 35 inches and I'm 34 so I kind of just went up slightly um, it's very a very oversized pattern so um, yeah the size 4 I probably could have got away with the size um, um, lower than that I can't remember how which how what it is in order but but having made it now and the fact that these have shrunk slightly um, and I'm not going to iron them so that was my intention I've made these with the intention of not ironing them so I think bearing in mind when you if you are making anything with double gauze um, if you iron it and press it when you are making it and then you intend not to iron it again it's going to shrink slightly and crum cr crumple back up again <clears throat> so I'm glad I've made the size 4 now because it has kind of shrunk up a little bit and I'm never going to iron these the pajamas you never iron pajamas and then what else have I done with this um so I, I originally took off the length about two and a quarter inches thinking that it was just going to affect the bottom and again I don't know why I didn't think about the fact that it's going to affect the crossover because the short and length of line sl is slashed between um here basically right across the chest area so I've added some back on so that it will sit lower next time um uh what did i do oh yeah i said the top here i've gone with a zero zero so again with my shoulders when the when i looked at the pattern it's quite a relaxed fit and as you can see the seam line sits quite low anyway so i'm really glad that i went with a zero zero on the shoulders because i think that would have just hung down too low for me and then i just literally graded to a four from the chest downwards um yeah on my notes here i've just made bodice too short <laughs> but it's fine i i don't think it looks that awful i was a little disappointed when i first looked at it because i really love the fabric but i'm still wearing them and you know like i say it's it's not a big deal i don't find that it's uncomfortable in bed or anything now with the little side splits here these are really challenging to sew with double gauze um, because you have tiny tiny little um fold over i think it's a quarter of an inch and then another quarter of an inch and with this fabric with the weight frayed it just did not want to hold it just didn't want to press so i used wonder tape and the wonder tape is like a double-sided uh, tape for fabric and i literally stuck it on folded it over and then top stitched and that was worked perfectly um other issues that i had maybe with this fabric were I think in one part it tells you to overlock the edge before you stitch the seam now i made the mistake of doing that on one part i wouldn't do that again because the double gauze has a tendency of kind of stretching out and so when it came to stitching my seam i had to really ease it in um if i've got a picture i'll put it up in the corner of what it looked like it was really really i had to really ease it in so in future i would just stitch the seams first and then overlock the edges um specifically i think for this fabric double gauze um, i think you can you can kind of probably get away with it with cotton that's fine and also with this fabric i'd already read that it's quite difficult to sew and it can stretch out so i used my walking foot which was brilliant worked perfectly i also found out that you can turn the um i think what's it called is it the press a tension dial which I didn't know existed on my uh, machine 
And if you turn that down to, I turned mine down to one, that really, really helped. Now I've never known that that existed. I've probably been sewing with this machine now for years and I've never known that that actual thing existed. But there you go. Um, and that really, really helped. I used a long stitch length, so a stitch length of three. And again, I think that was really beneficial because if you've got any mistakes and you want to unpick the, from the double gauze, it's so easy to catch the snag, the fabric and pull it out. So use a nice long stitch length so you can pull out those stitches easily. Um, and that really, really worked for me. Um, and yeah, and that's about it really. Oh, what did I do with the bottoms? I think I took two and a quarter inches off the bottoms as well. So I'm just get, it's getting dark and I can't really see my writing because I've done it in pencil. So yeah, it's about two and a quarter inches I took off the bottom of the trouser legs, which is actually quite good for me. Um, and that was it. That's nothing else. I did nothing else for these pyjamas. I love them so, so much. Uh, beautiful fabric. Um, I definitely make some more out of double gauze. I actually have some other fabric, which I previously bought think maybe last year or the year before which essentially is exactly the same color it's the same fabric but I only have I think a meter or even a meter and a half of that and on what I my plan was was to make some shorts to go with it because I don't wear pajama bottoms in bed I find them my legs get really hot I just prefer wearing shorts when I go to bed so I'm gonna make some shorts so that I can change into the shorts when I actually get into bed and wear it with the top so that's my plan I haven't chosen a pattern that for that yet, but that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this um, vlog. It was just me chatting about this particular um, pattern and the lovely fabric that was gifted to me. I will link the fabric down below in the description. I am not an affiliate um, of Minerva, so I don't get any um, cash or commission for um, promoting them but I just thought I'd mention it if you liked the fabric it is a beautiful fabric really nice quality double gauze um, it has it has actually washed really beautifully I like it better now it's been washed because obviously when you're making it you have got to press your seams and I didn't really like the way it looked once it had been pressed but I love it now it's all sort of, sort of waffled back up again that makes sense so yeah um, I hope you've enjoyed what I've chatted to you about today and you like seeing my pyjamas and please leave me in the comments any um anything that you have got to say about my pajamas um but yeah and apologies if the light is really bad i will try and touch this up so it makes it look a little bit brighter and you can see it better but um don't really like the way the ring light makes everything look changes the color of fabric and i would like you to see in its genuine color um, I shall be back very soon. I just want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed recently. And if you haven't already subscribed, then please do hit the subscribe button. And also just give me the thumbs up on the like button. That would be really good as it does help my channel build. And yes, I shall be back soon, hopefully with another vlog. And yeah, take care everybody. Uh, have an amazing week or weekend, depending on when I put this out. And I shall be back soon, as always, sending you all loads of love. Bye.